Hi there, I'm Adam. Welcome to Local Bytes. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to set up Home Assistant on a Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pis are fantastic single board computers. They're a popular choice for many hobbyists just getting into home automation. Now, there are other methods available. For instance, your NAS may have a Home Assistant add-on, or you could go down the route of one of Home Assistant's new branded devices. That said, time and time again, I always find myself coming back to a Pi. We're going to need a few things to get going. I've got here one of the Raspberry Pi Model 4s. Now you can run this on a Model 3. However, I've picked up a Model 4 for demonstration. I've gone for a four gigabyte version. However, you can get away with two gigabytes. That said, you may find yourself running into a few issues as your home starts to grow. I've also got a router here and it's strongly recommended to plug the Pi in with a network cable as opposed to running over Wi-Fi. Now, first off, we're going to want to go to raspberrypi.org forward slash software. Now this will take us to the downloads page for Raspberry Pi. Let's go ahead and download the flasher. And whilst that's downloading, let's go ahead and put our SD card into the SD card slot. It may automatically open the drive. We can close that for now. So go ahead and install the Raspberry Pi imager, and then we're going to run it. So we've got a few different options here. First off, we're going to choose which device we're using. Now this is the Raspberry Pi 4. If you wanted to have a play around with the Raspberry Pi, you may want to choose one of the desktop operating systems for Raspberry Pi. However, we can go down to other specific purpose OS, Home Assistance and Home Automation, and at the top here, we have Home Assistant. Now this is for the Raspberry Pi 4 and not the yellow. And finally, we want to choose our storage device. We can see here we've got the SDXC card mounted as D. And that's it. We're going to click yes. And it's going to go ahead and write to the Pi. We've just installed Home Assistant OS onto our SD card. I'm going to go ahead and click continue. And we can close out of that and get our SD card back. We now have an SD card with the Home Assistant OS. Let's go ahead and plug that into the Raspberry Pi, plug in our networking, and then plug in power. Fairly quickly, we should see the power light and the activity light start flashing. Now that's all plugged in, we're going to head on over to homeassistant.local colon 8123. Now in just a moment, it should go ahead and connect us. Great, now that's done, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to need to create our user account and a password. Next up, we're going to want to set an address. Now this is used for local weather and sun information and is used by the companion app for home and away automations. Now you may wish to turn on anonymous analytics. This allows the Home Assistant developers to see how the community use Home Assistant. This of course is not mandatory. Now already, despite this being an empty network, Home Assistant has gone ahead and had a little look to see what it can control. The Pi 4 has Bluetooth on board, so it's noticed that it can interface with Bluetooth devices. You may see other devices at this stage. Now, this is a great way to get started as you can have a look at what's available to control within your house without any additional hardware. I'm gonna go ahead and click Finish. And here we have a fresh installation of Home Assistant. Now the possibilities from here are endless. Everyone has their own unique spin on it. So I implore you to have an explore, see what works and what doesn't for you, how you want to take your journey forward. And at the end of the day, we'll be here to help. Thanks for watching. I've been Adam, this has been Local Bytes, and we'll see you next time.